Welcome, welcome. I decided to do an episode, yeah, episode on how to uh, polish glass tile. And then I'm going to show you where I'm going to install the tile. So today, I'm going to show you what we're doing. See all this glass tile? See it? What I'm doing is, you see the edge here? I'm making it like nice and clean. See that? Let me put the two together for you. See the difference? Nice. Compared to that. Because this is going to trim out in a kitchen backsplash. This is where some of those pieces went after I polished them. And when I was done, it just made this arch look fantastic. And I got it. The trick is to keep it on the lowest speed, like slow. And you go through all. It's just like polish. I got another uh, video on how to bullnose uh, stone or tile. I'll leave the link below. Same thing, but I'm not bullnosing. I'm just getting rid of all the rough stuff on, on this glass liners. But I'm using it for trim. You can do the exact same things if you wanted. Uh, if you get glass tile like a 3x6 and you cut it off, you don't want to put sluter. You could actually bullnose it with a profile wheel just like regular tile. And as long as you get the pads, bring it from 50 to 3,000 and then buff it. It looks sweet. You don't have to use that sluter. So... Let me set you up, and then we're going to go. Uh, the reason why I'm stopping right here is when you're doing this, make sure you got a great light. Mine is 500 watts. If you can get more, because you want all the light shining. When you use that 50 grit, the most important thing is to get out all the rough edges because as you go up, you'll start seeing leftover scratches if you don't get them out with the 50. So take your time. I'm going to show you what I, I would, uh, I'm going to show you how it looks before I proceed onto another grit. So. See that? I, I made sure I got rid of all this stuff and it's all smooth. As before I proceed, if you do not get all, all this stuff and you leave any rough, as you go up these pads, you're gonna, they're going to come and then you got to go back down the pads all the way to the 50 to start over to get rid of your scratches. So make sure you get all, any, even when you're bullnosing, make sure you get all the scratches out the first round on the 50. That's the trick and a nice light. Oh yeah, that's the other trick. So let's continue with the pads. As you can see, I set up kind of some kind of contraption to hold these so when I'm polishing them, uh, they don't move around. So I can, you know, I can even hold them like that. That way, because I've done these one at a time. And mainly, when you do glass and you're going to do this, look for your best side. You know, I wouldn't polish that side, I'd polish that side. So, less. So, let's get going. This is the multi speed. Uh, grinder I use is called a blaster with all my pads and uh, when I first polished all these glass tiles I did them one at a time because I was on a job site and um, I just didn't like the way they looked so I get out my uh, my polisher here and I, I polish one piece and it looked so much different then I told the owner hey do you want to polish the rest of them he said yes yeah. so I took it to my shop and I made this little jig up with two half inch sticks and some clamps so I could polish six at a time because uh, polishing one at a time takes oh, was just forever. So if you can polish more at one time, you'll save a lot. And just take your time. Keep it on a low speed and let the weight of the tool do the work. And as you can see, this backsplash came out awesome. At the end, I have some pictures, so stay tuned to the very end. And I took some pictures of the rest of this trick glass back splash. Why don't you go out and get you some of that? I gets to go. Nobody's here but yours truly again. Sunday, about 6, 5, 45. The only one on the job site as usual. That's what I do. 
I'm a tile setting fool. So I'm out of here. Keep watching my videos. Hit the subscribe. You know you want to. Like. Tell all your friends about me. Do me a favor. I'd appreciate it. And thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. I'm out of here.